Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of Coin's newly released vision model, which not only can do image understanding, VQA and also the video understanding. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we will see how this model works with videos. If you have been following my channel, just yesterday I covered the same model for image understanding and we saw that how quality oriented this model was, especially when it comes to OCR and visual question answering. So I'm very keen to see how this model performs with videos. The interesting bit is that not only it works with full blown videos in MP4 format, but also you can give it frame by frame in terms of images. You can not only use your local videos with just path, but also the URL. So model seems quite performant in that sense. Before we saw the installation, let's have a quick look at its architecture. So this model is not only proficient in recognizing com common objects in a daily life in the videos, but also it is highly capable of analyzing texts, charts, icons, graphics, and layouts within the videos, which is quite interesting. And we also saw that it was quite uh, performant and smooth when it comes to images. It can also directly play as a visual agent that can reason and dynamically direct tools which is capable of computer use and phone use. So you can call it an agentic vision model because it can use tools natively that is quite interesting. Plus it also supports structured output of the content. That is how you can use it in many real world use cases. As far as architecture is concerned, I would request you to check out this video, which appears first, which is uh, just you need to search with Quen 2.5. And I have gone into detail around its architecture, which I'm not going to repeat in this video. So let's get it installed and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website. Plus, I am also going to give you a 50% discount coupon on range of GPUs. So please do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Konda. Let's install all the prerequisites which include Torch, Torch Vision and few other tidbits. Okay, now there is another step which we need to do for video understanding and that is to install flash attention. That is highly, highly recommended, especially if you are doing video, understanded, uh, video understanding for accelerated um, attention. So that is done. Now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook and then we will play around with it in the browser environment. While that happens, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, let's go back and check what is happening. Now let's first load the model and we are importing the libraries and getting this VL7 billion instruct and I am using flash attention too. Now if you don't have a modern GPU card such as from Ampere or Hopper generation then you can skip this line and you don't really have to install flash attention but as I said it is highly recommended to install it for video understanding. And the model is being downloaded and loaded onto our GPU. And now in order to do the inference with your videos, all you need to do is to provide this code, which is present on their model, hugging face model card. And I will drop the link to it in videos description too. So all I am doing here is that I am providing it the path of the video. Then I am asking the question. We are creating the prompt template. We are passing it through processor where tokenizer is encoding our input to the model compatible format model is generating the output with some of the hyperparameters. I'm just going to increase it a bit with max new tokens. 
and then we are decoding it back with tokenizer and printing out the response now the video of this get out mp4 this is another ai generated video from my another uh, video so i'm just going to play it for you so this is just a cat on top of some hill there are some other hills in the background so she, the cat raises its paw and it's pretty interesting so i'll just play once more a bit okay so this is a video and i am asking the model to describe it or what is in the video so let me run it and there you go the model has given its response it says a fluffy cat stands outdoors against a backdrop of majestic mountains let me try to put the video here to at the top so that we would compare let me try to make it smaller there you go let me play it and then we will see and it says the feline on the left is striking is striking a dynamic pose with one paw raised high exe oh, sorry okay so i think we have seen it enough exuding confidence and playfulness that's correct it's thick fur and intense gaze add to the lively energy of the scene and then it's in a walking stance lifting one paw slightly as if mid-step the cat's fur is similarly lush very nice creating a lively and adventurous atmosphere so not only it has understood the video's content very well it has also understood the whole vibe around it which is quite cool uh, let's also check the vram consumption in real time so it is consuming just over 16 gig of vram as the model is fully loaded so make sure that you have that much vram okay let's try out another video so i'm going to get this uh video from a local system i'll close yeah maybe i'll just close this one first so this is just me speaking in my microphone a while back while i was doing a pod podcast so let me give this video here and then run it again so i'm just going to change this path to uh, dot mp4 and then i'll just keep the prompt and let me run it and there you go the model has given its response the model is saying in the image a person is okay so it's a video not an image i'm not sure what is saying image a person is sitting in a room with a neutral gray wall in the background they are looking content and are dressed in a dark jacket or hoodie the individual appears to be in a home office setup sitting in front of desk and speaking into a microphone that's good suggesting they might be streaming or recording something very nice on the desk there is a laptop elevated on a wooden stand a desktop monitor keyboard and other office items like headphones and paperwork the window to the right has wooden blinds so let me play it again just to see yes there's a wooden blind and all that uh, glitter i need to be more organized very nice so look i think it is really good and then again uh, in its real stance it is describing the whole atmosphere which is casual and relaxed work from home very nice so look just like its image understanding i believe the video understanding is also sublime let me know your thoughts try it out uh, share your experience in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thank you for watching.